<sighs> she was not calming down at all. No. <laughs> she, no, she fell asleep eventually. She's, she's asleep right now. Yeah. I think she's going to stay asleep for a little bit. I think she's just hungry. Yeah. She always gets like a little punchy when she's hungry. <laughs> like she's doing like a karate class. <laughs> I know she's so little. She's so tiny. Oh, look how tiny she is. I know. It was like, what, a week and a half ago when she started doing that? Now if I put my finger in her hand. Yeah, look, she grips. Hi. <laughs> it's crazy how much they do stuff in their sleep. This is this how I sleep? Am I all punchy in my sleep? It is punchy. Look, like, it's, I mean, she's not doing it now. But when she's, like, awake and she's, like, it's not, yeah, like, when she's fussy, she just gets all punchy. <laughs> it's adorable. It's so cute. You know what? You're so cute. You're crazy. Isn't it so crazy we made this? I can't get over the fact that we made this. Like you and me together produced this. We did this. This is what we did. We did this. This is, we did this. It's insane. I, I can't get my head around it. No. And the fact that she's going to grow up into, like, basically you one day is crazy. Well, I mean, like, a hybrid of us. But, like, she'll she'll be, like, as big as we are right now. I, I can't... I can't fathom that. I know it's going to happen, but I'm not, I'm not emotionally or mentally prepared for that day to come. <laughs> At all. <laughs> uh... No, I'm not ready for her to grow up. I want her to stay a little baby forever. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm... It's a catch-22, you know? You want... You want them to stay like this forever, but at the same time, you want them to talk and walk and become a person and just... So you could see who they become. But at the same time, that's like... You're losing them. Oh, man. Oh, the next 18 years are going to be so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. In, in the best way possible, but these next 18 years are going to be, oh, oh, the trial and tribulation. <laughs> the one that's so worth it. Yeah, it is. It's so worth it. Mm. You want to hold her? Mm hmm. I think she wants to go back to her mama. Mm hmm. Are you sure? Okay, if she fusses, I will pass her back to you. I'm perfectly happy letting her sleep on me. Mm-hmm. Sleeping baby, I'm knocking it, and I'm super thrilled. Yes, I'm I'm okay. <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm. Actually, I changed her. I changed her like 45 minutes ago. So she should be okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think I've gotten pretty good at it. I'm, I mean, I'm no, I'm no pro, but I, I think I'm, I do a, a decent diaper change yet now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not there for number two yet. No, I mean, so far for one kid, I'm okay, but if we have two kids, I'm going to need to get way better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> She sleeps so peacefully. It's crazy. I guess that's what happens when you have, like, zero worries in the world. She has no concept of anything. Apparently, she, she can't even see color yet. She sees black and white, right? Like a... Or some... Oh, she can't see further than a couple inches from her face. That's nuts. And she's not ticklish yet, either. It's just... It's so crazy how, like... Even though she's born, she's still, like, developing... Oh, I know early childhood development. I I, I know I've, I've taken classes. I've we we did all this stuff, but it even like it's so different now. It's so different. It's so different. It, all that theory and all this the classes they did they don't they prepare you intellectually for this, but they don't prepare you like emotionally for this. You know that you're responsible for everything for just everything. 
they don't prepare you for how like vulnerable a baby is yeah no I know and, and the thing is like I thought I knew like cause I took care of like all those baby animals and stuff and they were so vulnerable and like you know you have to bottle feed them and like all the stuff and it was I was like yeah I know how it is to like have a baby and raise a baby I've, I've like raised baby animals forever but now now it's so different <laughs> hey I only do that a couple of times alright <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of similarities between a baby and a puppy, but it's a, it is not the same. I agree, it's not the same. I know I was saying that a lot, but it's not the same. Truly, the only similarity is that they're both adorable. And you just want a million of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I believe a baby's going to be way worse when she's teething than a puppy. Yeah. I know, I... I, I couldn't believe when you told me that some babies were born with teeth in their mouth. Yeah. Wouldn't that make breastfeeding a nightmare? Oh, my God. I mean, we're so lucky. She's all gums, so. <laughs> yeah, she's been so good. She's been latching on everything. Yeah. She's been a really good baby. We've been really lucky. No, not everyone's as fortunate. Some people have babies who just refuse to latch and they, you know, or they, they're fussy and we just, we lucked out. We have a quiet, latchful baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I feel like every parent in the world feels like they locked down with their baby. They're just like, yeah, you know, my baby's perfect. You know, because they, they are. You know, you're perfect to us. Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I think she's waking up I think I was a little too loud I'm so sorry no I know we're supposed to try to like yeah because the more we talk the more we just introduce her to sounds the less yeah the less she'll be bothered later on with sounds mm hmm yeah well trust me there's a lot of noise for your little baby to acclimatize to <laughs> a little tiny baby thank you for making this with me mm. and thank you for being born little baby I'm so grateful to have you <laughs>